an incredibly swollen foot. So bumblefoot comes in all shapes and sizes. And there's usually some problem with blood supply. But in this particular case, when you've got something as big as this and the whole foot just arthritic and swollen, we think that there's been a foreign body that's penetrated. We've got an infection right under there. And it would have gone right into the joint. There'll be arthritis potentially. So we're going to open up over here and open up over here. And then try and flush and flush and clean out as much as we can. We're going to put antibiotics into the joints and then we're going to bandage the foot for about two weeks. Do you think this is full of pus? I think there's going to be birds don't have the same pus that huge that dogs and cats have that squeezy type of yellowy pus. But yes, it's got a fluidy pus. Pus is actually made up of dead and decaying white blood cells and their debris. So this is very pussy. And for a bird, this will be pretty pussy. Cue the explosion. Is it coming around the edge? Yeah, so this is all dead tissue. It's, and you can actually start seeing the pus is starting to come out now. So that is pus. That's what bird pus looks like. It's, 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 a, it's a putrid smell. It's, really, it's so toxic because it's like, I mean, you can just see the dirt. You can see the dead. It's quite a hole. Oh, it's massive. And it's you just, think we got a bunch beforehand. You can actually see that it's just all this dead tissue. So before we get bleeding, we really want to clean it out as best we can. And you can see the local anesthetic works very well. Can you see it? Is it coming out, Mel? Can we see this? Really, to just see what we. I mean, you can. This is the pussy yucky. See the pus coming out, Ethan. Let's just. We don't need to apply it yet unless it bleeds. I'm just getting it just in case. Thank you. Just for in case. The idea is I'm hoping that the two communicate. And if I can get the wounds to, to communicate, it'll be quite nice. You Are know they using. That you want them to connect? Well, I'm sure they connect. So they're using 4G or 5G to communicate. Uh, they use the, the because it's quite, this is chicken, it's not mammal, it's usually 3G because mam oh. mammals would use 4G. Yeah. We're still a bit. So now we're going to try and take us. I swear they're not drunk. <laughs> it absolutely stinks in there. So we're going to take mm. it just very gently. Maybe I think it smells a bit funky. Crap. Actually, about one and a quarter, I say, because it's pre medicine, it's a It's a good anesthetic. A beautiful color, great respiratory. So, as far as anesthetic goes, Ethan, you try to keep a bird lighter if possible? No, you try to maintain a good depth, a balance between not too light, not too deep. Mm -hmm. And in birds where you can't use much monitoring equipment, that is quite difficult. So much is coming out. Mm -hmm. But because we're not reacting to any input, we're quite comfortable. You don't have your respiratory rate. So you can see everything. the dead tissue we're taking out. So this bumble foot is really as bumbly foot as they get. As bumbly as they get, huh? So bumble foot's a general term, Phil? Bumble, foot, bumble foot's a general term for infection of the foot, the deeper tissues. Um, and it's caused often, I mean, it's in small birds, it's usually caused by pressure on the... Um, abnormal pressures on the foot but chickens and chickens it often gets caused by trauma traumatic um so we've actually gone right through we've connected the two through which is quite a good thing explain why that's good well i'm going to try flush and clean clean things through it just makes the flushing a little bit easier it makes the clean of the dead stuff a little bit so easier it really goes out the other end this So all we can really do now, you can flush from me, Ethan, thank you. So we're not through the bone, it's just the flushy part under the foot? Or? Well, we threw it, goes very deep. I'm going to take it a little bit more. Um, I can't get every bit of dead tissue out. We will hope the body, want, the, the idea is the body's got to play its role as well. Once we've taken out as much tissue as we can. But now you can start seeing, I don't know if you can see now. So we're starting to get healthy tissue inside. We're getting healthier and healthier tissue as we start removing um, 
more and more debris. So it's a fine line between taking out as much dead tissue and not getting bleeding. Because as soon as I go deep and get bleeding, I have to stop because it's going to bleed. So you can still see we're taking out little scoopfuls of, of dead tissue. And we have to be pretty aggressive because if we're not aggressive, it's, uh, it's just not going to clear up. So this is what bird pus is like. This is as pussy as a bird's bird's foot's going to be. The smell really is quite there. Mm. Smell is horrible. It's yeah. So oh, here's some really. Uh, we now we're getting this. So we're really starting to. Um, Well, we're going to try and we're going to close, we're going to stitch it closed now. We're going to put some antibiotics into the wound and we're going to hope the body's going to heal it now that it's relatively clean. Do we need to worry about the other scab at the base? We probably do, but um, the other scab is superficial, so superficial I've had a look. You can see I've taken it. Yeah, so I'll go for another minute or two just to take out as, you know, there's still, still some tissue. That, I'm really just going on color and on obviously on vascularity. So I'm using something called a curette. It's a, it's, it's, a little, it's a little instrument with two little cups on it, like a micro teaspoon, and it's smooth on the ends. So the idea is I can scrape out stuff without getting too much bleeding. So I've got to plan the closure, making sure it closes, because I've taken out a big whack of tissue. We've now got a tourniquet because we've actually gone quite deep. Not that there was a massive amount of bleeding, it just slows down and makes it a little bit easier for him, for the vet. <clears throat> so, some of the things you're going to only find at a bird, an avian clinic would be melamine type shoes, so they waterproof shoes, they velcro, they come on just to protect the foot so she doesn't walk in poo on the bandage the whole time, although I mean poo can get in here. But this is comfortable, it's easy, it's absolutely brilliant. We've finished the surgery, the little bird's waking up, we've got a heat lamp coming down, we've got a heater on, we've got a, a heat pad, so the bird's pretty warm, we've given fluids, I might actually give a little, I might even just give some more fluids. In. But the surgery's gone really well, the anesthetic's gone really well. That special soft velcro around the leg so it doesn't scratch too. It doesn't scratch and it's so easy to put on, it's so convenient. Mm -hmm. You're awake.